Warning. The following show may contain naughty words such as crumbs or possibly even worse. If you're easily offended, then you might want to just close the web browser entirely. It's a rough internet out there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Adventure Bastards. This is a new show about role-playing. You know, tabletop role-playing, Dungeons and Dragons, that kind of thing. Even if you don't, don't worry, the show's kind of fairly self-explanatory. None of us have actually done role-play before. I've never DM'd, they've never played, and we just thought we'd all get together as a bunch of friends and see if, you know, see how it works, see how it, see how much we enjoy it, and hopefully we'll enjoy playing it and you'll enjoy watching it. So that's kind of the plan anyway. We'll see how things go. Uh, our initial adventure, we're picking Call of Cthulhu. This is inspired by the works of H.P. Lovecraft, and it's kind of a setting that I'm personally interested in. Hopefully the guys will get into it as well. The plan is to keep doing these episodes, release one per week. Um, we'll see how that goes. Maybe that'll accelerate. We'll see over time. You know, it's, it's all a bit unclear at the moment. We're just seeing, we're just taking it as it goes. I have to apologise a little bit for this first episode. Uh, it was our first time doing it, and I messed up some of the technicalities, and especially the sound of the other guys is going to sound very tinny. Hopefully it's still watchable. I know exactly what went wrong, um, and that'll be fixed once this first adventure's done, so you may have to wait a few weeks until the first adventure's all been broadcast, and then everything will get magically better. So I don't want to keep you banging on. I'll just, we'll just get started. Straight into it, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. Um. Hi. <laughs> Epic. 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 <laughs> right. Uh, I don't know if we should do um, who who everyone is. I guess we'll do everyone is on, on camera on stream. So. So everyone, we're playing uh, Call of Cthulhu. Um, we're doing we're doing an adventure called The Haunting. So the game is set in 1925-ish America on the East Coast in Boston, Massachusetts. You're all recent graduates from uh, the oh, I can't, I don't even know how to pronounce it Mis Miskatonic University. You've all you all sort of met each other at university. They're not on the same courses. Carlo and um, Kieran. We'll get to character names in a bit. Were friends before university, as Carlo insisted on that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the rest of you, <laughs> the rest of you met each other through various like something happened at university that we're not going to get into in this story that brought you guys all together as friends something um, something otherworldly and so after you graduated rather than uh, moving on and getting proper careers you're all typical graduates and you all kind of wanted to fuck about for a bit um, thankfully uh, Johnny's rich oh no sorry not Johnny it's um, Kieran's rich. Oh. <laughs> and so um decided to s s set up a uh, detect uh, sort of detective agency with his with his mates so it's kind of like nobody really expect you don't really expect to make a lot of money and your parents are kind of just ignoring you and they know that you'll fuck about for a year or two and then get back with a real job so that's kind of the oh, basic yeah. that's kind of the basic setup we'll do a quick overview of the characters and then we'll start the adventure i guess so um Karen, do you want to introduce yourself <laughs> or as my character, or as yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, both. If you want to tell people watching who you are, you can. I mean, but you're, you've basically made yourself. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm. I have to put an accent on. No, no, it's not. We don't have to go crazy, you know. Oh. Okay, right. My character <laughs> is Kenrell Ross Barkin, who's a 25-year-old engineer, and he's born in Australia and lives in Orlando. Okay, but for the purposes of the adventure, you're all you're all currently residing in Boston, where um, working for Kieran. Boston. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Carlo, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Okay. My character's called Trent Wood. Um, I was uh, I was briefly training to be a military officer at Blount Island in Orlando, Florida, and now I work for Kieran. Apparently, or he's that way. I was going to say, by the way, although he technically owns the agency, it's not like he's the boss, because you're all kind of rich kids, and you're all just sort of fucking about, really. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm on, I'm on, um, I'm on paid leave from the military. <laughs> Ask you. Mine isn't a character; it's me. I am Julian Nelson from 22, 
born in France, currently in Boston. I'm a parapsychologist. Parrot. <laughs> <laughs> As in, <laughs> as in the occult, not like, not like he's a paratrooper. See what you think. And finally, Johnny. My character is called Zavstral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a doctor. I'm 27, and uh, I was born in Brighton. Because can't think of anywhere else. That's where my parents have me. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So we shall start. We'll start this. I mean, as, as I think I've, I'm going to say in the introduction before this, that none of us really played RPGs before, as far as I know. So this is going to be a bit rough, but we'll do our best. Um, and I've already. I should probably open the book to the right page. So, so it starts off. It's just a sort of typical day in the office. You guys have all got in at around nine, ten a.m. You're all. Smoking cigars and drinking uh, bourbon like it's fucking Mad Men or something. <laughs> You're not really expecting to get any work because you haven't had much work, and so far it's mostly been people coming in expecting you to find lost cats or trail, you know, trail cheating husbands and stuff. But that's not the point. You've, you, you're supposed to be there as occult investigators, and so far most people think you guys are a bit of a joke on the high street. <laughs> the only person taking you seriously so far is the uh, is the the woman you've paid to be your administrative assistant, um, and she's only there because you're paying. Well, because Kieran's paying. <laughs> um, so, so you're a bit surprised. She's slamming hot. <laughs> I, I she did... has to be hot. I hired her. <laughs> she's called. She's called Cheryl Carter. How how hot she is, as you say. Um, Kinneril here hired her, so I'm sure she's. Uh, I'm sure she's rel oh, relatively adequate. How is Cheryl? How is Cheryl? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to chat with Cheryl? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> <laughs> what? So you're, you're there. So there, you're there, Zav, with the with with a scar in one hand and whiskey in the other. What, what, what do you want to say to Cheryl? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> fine. I'll, I'm I'll fine, and then I'm, I'm just as fine as I was when you asked me yesterday, and I'm just as fine as I'm going to be when you ask me again tomorrow. <laughs> Leave me alone. I got stuff to do. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move things along. I, 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 um, I'm not sure I can. I'm, not, you know, I'm gonna try and role play. I mean, be the best DM I can, but I'm not sure I can handle, um, like playing characters you guys are gonna flirt with. That's gonna be a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> All those wow. charm points are wasted, then, Perrin. I know. All those charm points. Oh, we'll we'll do our best. That's like my best attribute. <laughs> like Susan or something. <laughs> All right, so um, a guy comes through the door, um, looking uh, looking a bit kind of like confused, and just checking he's found the right place. And um, he's just asking around, is like, so are you got, so is this the detective agency? And sort of Sh Cheryl just sort of like rolls her eyes and looks over at you guys to leave leave you to deal with him. Well, what's your business here? <laughs> well, I was ho I was ho looking for investigation. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I've I've been. Uh, I'm a uh, estate agent. I've been. I, I work on this street. I walk past you guys every day. And um, I've been thinking about hiring you since you opened. But uh, I wasn't really sure if you if you you guys are serious or not. Are you are you genuinely paranormal investigators? It depends yes. how much money you've got. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the job. Comp I mean. I'll I'll pay you well for the job if you can do it, but um, but uh, basically I've got a a property that's um I've been trying to rent out for years, but it's I've basically no one wants to stay there. Every time every time anyone rents it, they usually leave within a few days, or it. And there's been a lot of there's been a lot of sort of rumors and stories about it, and I just I just want to let the place. That's all I care about. Um, and it's like no one will go there. And if you guys can take a look at it, I'll I'll get I'll pay you well, but um I can give you a twenty five uh, cash at dollar cash advance now, and another another seventy five if you can actually sort something out and get it so. I I can actually, you know, let the place out, figure out what's going on. Do you do you believe this to be true? This weird behaviour. Well, I I don't I don't know. I'll care this? to be honest. Like I've I've not really seen much. I've you know I've been in there. It's a bit creepy. It's a bit old and dusty. I can see why people would get scared, but there's nothing real. I mean, as far as I can tell, the place is fine, but people won't stay there. Have you got any paperwork on the on the place? What kind of paperwork do you want? 
I would like to see a photograph. Addresses, details. <laughs> yeah, names, <laughs> places, dates. Okay, well, I've got, I've got a photograph. I can show you this here. Um, if you guys, if you guys got Roll Twenty, okay. you should see a photo of the place. Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> that is nice. Look, I can give you the address. Is it in the countryside. It's, it's, it's not actually. It's um, there's, it's an area that used to be all residential, but now it's mainly office blocks. Um, but. You know, the place came into my hands, and I guess we could we could have it torn oh. down, but it seems it seems a waste. Um, I can give you. Any chance to have a colour photo? <laughs> What's a colour photo? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should speak with the boss. What was your name, please? Uh, uh, Mr. Nod. Mr. Nod. Not what? That's, that's, that's very good, that's very good. I haven't heard that one before, thank you. And how did you acquire the place? I don't know whether these are the right questions to ask, but how did you acquire this um, property? Well, it was, it was passed down to me in an, in an inheritance, essentially. Um, it's an old family thing, really. I, I mean, I, haven't, I had no history with the place myself, but... Um, I don't know, one of my uncles, I guess, had something to do with it, because it was passed to me. Um, and, you know, I've got a bunch of places that come to me like this. This is just the way things work. Would the, would your uh, uncle have had anything to do with why this building might be haunted? I, look, I, I don't know. That's why I'm coming to you guys. Okay, <laughs> you might know. It's your family. <laughs> like look, guys, we we've had like a slow draft at work. We should probably go. <laughs> okay. so, do you want the job? Uh, I'm, I'm in. Should we yes. agree to doing it? Just can we not have a look at it first? <laughs> do we have to? Well, that, that's the job. <laughs> Who's giving us money in advance, man? Front? There's no, there's no point in, in not in, in looking first and then deciding, because then we're wasting our time and not getting paid. So let's just take it and do it, okay? Okay, boss. Okay, so he gives. The, he I'm gives, not the boss. <laughs> he gives you the, well. He gives you the he gives you the address. He gives you the keys and he gives you twenty five dollars cash advance, which I'll split between you guys. And um, I'll give you some, one bit of prescient knowledge that you guys, as as good dec as relatively decent investigators, I say relatively, you're, you know, as, as as best as graduates can be, you are aware that the, the the resources available to you nearby to actually investigate this kind of thing are the offices of the Boston Globe, the Central Library, and the Hall of Records. Um, so these are the places you can go if you, to to gather information, and, or you could just go straight to the house. But it's up to you how you want to approach things, basically, from here on out. I mean, since we do believe in the dark arts, you know that's what we did at university. Uh, I should I should clarify, you guys aren't like you guys have only seen vague things. You don't you know it's not like you're you're savvy in that kind of stuff. Yeah, I reckon uh, we should definitely go to the Hall of Records and see if there was any like dodgy things that went on at the house. I agree. Do you not want to have a brief look at it first? No, because I don't want to like if there is something in there, then <laughs> I'd I know something went on beforehand. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm 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 down for that. Okay, you want to head over to the Hall of Records? Yes. Yeah. Do we all do like a little <laughs> screen run? <What> do <laughs> to the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Were there yet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so who got hands of that stuff? Who's got the key and what else was there? A so you got a key and, and a... an address lists the place as the Corbett House and, and with the address. Um, you, I mean, who, one of you can take that stuff if you want, but it's um, but that's essentially you've got an, an address, the name, the Corbett House, and the keys. And uh, so you went over. Is, to... well, basically, what I'm getting at is, is it important to know which one of us specifically no, holds on to these it, items? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter really. All right. Okay. Corbett. No worries then. Give them the car. Though. All right. I'll... <laughs> so you get to the Hall of Records. It's a huge, huge, dusty old building. A lot of, a lot of sort of like deafening silence. Essentially, um, you can't really get very far into it yourself because it's, um, it's all blocked off by counters. But there's a clerk there who just sort of old man with glasses just looks at you expectantly. You're like, what do these fucking kids want? Oh. Oh. Hello, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hello, boy. <laughs> I've got, I've got, an, <laughs> I've got an address here that we're just looking for any information on. Okay, okay. Um, who's going to do the? Um, in, who's going to ch search? Well, essentially, the guys like. Okay, okay. I guess. Um, do you guys? Well, no. Uh, sorry, I'll pull this back. Are you guys? Uh, how do you guys know this place? Why, why do you want this information? Just checking up stuff for a friend. He just wanted to, to pop round and sort some stuff out for him. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Um, usually we, you know, we just 
We just expect some. We expect, it's very odd for having people look up things for friends, but I mean, you know, this is all public information, so you can you can have a look if you want. Uh, so, do you want me to show you around, or do you want to just go back there yourself? Mm, you can point us in the right direction, and uh, actually, yeah, now come with us and show us, and then yeah, that's fine. Okay, I guess. Um, sure, sure. Why not? Nothing else going on here today. <laughs> who's going to um, who's going to look around? Who's going to actually um, search the uh, the records? Ask you should. Yeah. Yeah, ask you should do it. All right, ask you. Yeah, I'm good with this stuff. So, can you roll me a? Do you like something in there? Can you roll me a D100, please? Uh oh. 100. That's most of them are. Most of them are the per are percentage checks. So you. Do I read out aloud what I got? You can if you want. It's we can all see it. Yeah. 48. We'll see it, won't we? I'm just um. Trying... I didn't see it. I'm just trying to. Oh, the chat. Yeah, 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 I see it. That's not a good rule, is it? Does the old man working at the building find it odd that this guy's just rolling a dice? <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy's seen everything, right? This is Boston, man. He's a seen really everything. A big dice. <laughs> Hundred sides. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, so I don't have a hand up for this, but yes, your your search is successful. So you found uh, you found some records from the from civil courts that show that the executor of Walter Corbett's will was Reverend Michael Thomas, um, Reverend Michael Thomas, pastor of the Chapel of Contemplation and Church of Our Lord, Granter of Secrets. Uh, the register of churches, which you also find attached to this, notes that the chapel in question was closed in 1912. And that's all you, Are you find. Writing this down. Do you want me to repeat that, or do you? Is the guy still with us? The guy, the clerk, the clerk's there. Yeah. Is the guy? So Askey's writing this down. I'll... Sorry, what? I'm, I'm writing drips and drabs. Okay. Michael. Michael, Michael Thomas, okay. pastor um, of the so, ch chapel of so contemplation. All right. Okay. Sorry, what? Uh, fine, gentlemen. Uh, how, if you don't mind me asking, do you know anything that went on in 1912? Why this may have been closed? Well, so the the guy, the guy takes you around the um, takes you around uh, the, uh, the the records to have a look um, to see if there's any records of what happened to the to the chapel because the chapel is marked as closed, but he's um, for some reason there's no uh, there's no court um, records here. So I mean, you can he, he says like there should be some, some something here, but I'm surprised they're not. Um, do you who's who, who's good at law here? Isn't one of you law? Law, uh, law. I think I'm good at law. No, it's Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, can you give, give me a D100 hey, roll? Johnny. <clears throat> give him the D100. Give him the D. Any. <laughs> Big roll. Well, D slash roll D100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, boom! High's bad. 87. Oh. Really? oh, you want to You need to roll below your skill level to succeed. Um, so I'm a, oh. so that so that you can you can press a roll if you want to try it again, and if you fail a pressed roll, then usually there's consequences associated with that. So anyway, the consequences. Can't do it. <laughs> high risk, high reward. Well, this doesn't seem like this particularly risky scenario, I'll admit. But you can only press a roll once. But you can throughout the game, if you have a roll that fails, you can press Whatever. it. Whatever. You can usually press a roll. I'm um, not combat ro combat rolls, but skill rolls. You can press and try them again, um, and sometimes that can be dangerous. But in this particular case, I don't think there's going to be a huge amount of danger in you rolling that again. Okay. okay what's his great. law skill? His law is actually 40, so he needs to get under 40 to um to succeed. Oh, you're going to do it this time, Johnny Anderson. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> So no, you look around and the you know the clerk the clerk doesn't know why there's no more records and you don't know why there's um there's no more records um and then um and that's all you're going to get out of the hall of records today was just that that's that name the the chapel of <coughs> contemplation. Uh, so it's Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas right? was the reverend of um the, the, of that cha of that chapel, yeah. And that let me get this right. Was that house? Did that house used to be a chapel? No, 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 no. No, no. That's just saying the executor of his will was was the reverend of that chapel. Michael Thomas. Wait. Okay. Right. Okay. So, I mean, that that's basically all you're going to find today in the the Hall of Records. Um, the other places you can go, I mean, if you want to keep like looking information up, is the Boston Globe or the Central Library. 
What is the Boston Globe? Sorry, what? What is the Boston Globe? It's the newspaper. The newspaper. All oh, right, right, right. Um, yeah, actually, I think it'd be worth checking next. There'll probably be a story on it closing. Yeah, back on the yeah. date. The, yeah. Do we have a specific date of anything that happened, or have we just got a year? Well, all you've got so far is that. Oh, that's second... gonna be a lot of fucking newspapers. All you've got so far is 1912, which was the, when the um, was when the chapel closed, which isn't actually anything else specific other than that. That's all you've got so far. But do you want to head over to the newspaper? We're not going to find anything in the newspaper then. Well, well we're not. We don't have a date to look. No, for no, something. but you've got a, you've got a house you're looking for information about, so you got an address. Ah, oh, right. We can search. Well, they have a freaking Google engine to search for titles of the newspapers. <laughs> well, I guess they. I guess they've got a database. I guess they have. They have records. No, they wouldn't. What, what year is this? <laughs> they have record keepers. They have archives that, that with, with notes. They have information. They can find things. All right. Let's go to the okay. So sh- I think we should go to the other place. But the library. You can go to the library. I think we might find some dates of something, and then that'd be better. Okay. Okay. Well, we can well I'm then. just suggesting. I'm just no, suggesting. No. Where are we going? We are going to go. To the globe. Okay. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> My logic was sound. <laughs> You're wrong. We, we can go to all three. Okay, so you... Can we ha- split into two teams you can to if make you, this you, quicker? You, you can if you want. I mean, it won't be any quicker because you'll all still have right, to... Right, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to the, the fucking library. <laughs> Who's got... Anyone, anyone want to come with me? Will this be any quicker? I would I would suggest if you if you're splitting up like this, I would suggest you also split up um, uh, Ask you and Johnny because you are the two the two people who can find this information. Yeah, around. yeah, we've already done that. Kieran's going to Globe, I'm going to the library, and we just need one of them to come with me. Oh, I'll go alone. I don't mind, but I might just like not have a good time. <laughs> yes, we might then. need all of our skills together at once. You never know. But I have no skills. Do. Combine our rings. <laughs> You're a fighter. I, I have no... Ask. Honestly, you two are the bookworms. All I'm good at doing is beating people up and shouting. <laughs> oh, by the way, bear in mind, you haven't actually... I mean, I should probably give you guys more context that when you're dealing with people, you can use the skills you've got, like intimidate and charm and things like that. When you're talking to people, you can you, you can, you can actively choose the old to man. You could have You could have done something with the old... You could have probably tried, tried shit on with the old man. But you know that oh. that 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 boat sailed. You're saying I could chat up the old man. Well, you could you could give it a go. He might have worked. You don't know what he's like. Oh, you should have third with Cheryl at the start. <laughs> <laughs> what was that going to get? Right, she <laughs> works for you. <laughs> We're not going but back. Might get a horse race, maybe. So so what's happening? Are you going? Not, anyway, to... who's coming with me? Volunteers. Let's all go together. I'll go. I'll go with Carlo. Uh, me, me, me and Askew going, we're speeding this up. Alright, okay. Come on, come on, buddy. Right, so we're there. Are we there? I'm, I'm gonna, if you two are going to the, if you two are going to the library, I'm gonna take, um, Kieran and Johnny at the, um, the Globe first, I'm afraid. So. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Should we go in the rush with them? <laughs> yeah, you two keep quiet now. So, uh, you, you we're gonna, we're gonna go off screen after <laughs> <laughs> So you're at the Boston, you're at the Boston <laughs> Globe. <laughs> It's a 1920s oh. newspaper office. There's the sound of typewriters everywhere. Everyone's smoking, arguing, shouting about stories, or shouting about like deadlines and like you know, it's it's a busy place. The at the back of the room, there's the editor's office where he's just storming around, looking like looking like he's generally pissed off. Um, that's probably where you want to head. Okay, let's let's all go there. Just you. So the uh, you you walk in and the editor's like, "Who the fuck are you two? What are you, what are you doing here?" Oh, I am looking for information, good sir. D- does this look like a library? <laughs> no, it looks a lot shut. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> And, and, and have you yeah. built? I'd, I'd like to see what kind of empire you've built for yourself. I've made this newspaper what it is. Don't come in here and give me shit. What do you want? Uh, what I want? I'm uh, after uh, information about a house on a particular date. Or well, year, sorry. Why are you looking for information and about a house? If... What, do you, what do you want? What I do you was want wondering this? if there was any news article on it. Uh... What, what business is it of yours? Why should I tell you shit? Because um, I'm good looking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a whole, I've got a whole room full of good-looking guys and gals out there. What do I, what, what do I need one more pretty boy for? What, what is your angle? Why, why do you at want? At this to... point, uh, uh, <laughs> can 
Can I go and ask one of the women this instead? <laughs> Just, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to stick with this guy. You're gonna have to. You, you're gonna have to. Oh. <laughs> how, how about you give us information? Because we're we're looking into something about this resident, and it might be interesting, and it might be a worthwhile story for you to print if anything turns up. So why are you investigating it? Because we have reason to believe that there could be some mysterious ongoings with its past. What's 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 the address? What's the place? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the word you're looking for is it's the Cor the Corbett House. <laughs> Alright. So the guy's like So let me get this straight. You let me guess. You guys are that new um that new PI outfit down the road, the uh, occult bot, occult nonsense, right? Oh, you've heard of them. Well, I've heard of you in that you're the laughing stock of the town. But look, you're new here. You don't know how things work. I'll cut you guys some slack. Like, I've I've got a, I've got a guy here. Every time we got a slow news day, I ask around and say if we've got any stories. And there's a guy here who always pitches me pitches me the bloody Corbett House. It's always always going on about this. There's some there's got to be some story there. Why nobody lives there? Why they haven't tore the place down? And you know he's never had an angle, and we've never had any reason anything worthwhile. So I'll tell you what. If I help you out, you're gonna have to give me anything you get back. You know I help you, you help me. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds fine. Fine, fine, fine. That's reasonable. Re reasonable. Good, because I'm a reasonable guy. Agreeable. <laughs> All you had to do was come in here and tell me tell me what you wanted. None of this I'm a pretty boy nonsense. That's not going to work here. That's not going to cut it with me. That's, that's uh. the thing. That's everyone. <laughs> if you've seen the guy at these like, records things, you just wouldn't shut up. Alright, fine. Anyway, look. Ruth, get in here. Right. He brings he brings in a, he brings in a woman called Ruth, and she she's going to take you down to the uh, to the to the to the records. And, uh, and hello, Ruth. Is he and smiling already? <laughs> <laughs> you, if, do you want to flirt with Ruth? <laughs> yeah. All right. Give me. We do not flirt with. <laughs> What's your? I'm, I'm guessing me and and uh, me and Askew aren't really allowed to suggest or invite. No, anything, not at the minute. I'm afraid. Give me give me a roll, Kieran. Right, by the cool. way. A roll. A, a, a roll. Hey, of what? A D one hundred. Hey, Askey, you should have you should have got a special item, being like a carrier pigeon, and then you can. Send oh yeah, you've to you've nailed this. She is in love with you. She is like head over heels in love with you. She just takes one look What's at you and What's his charm? Just... What's his charm at? <laughs> Eighty. <laughs> Eighty. <laughs> oh yeah, like I'm never gonna feel flung. <laughs> So she's uh, so she's all googly eyes over you, like, oh, I'll show you around anything you want to see, anything. What what are you after? And she's sort of like all all lovey dovey, like Rats. she's basically acting like um, our um, our Zav here is not even in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Zav. Right. And anyway, so she takes you down to the Hall of Records, and after looking around for a while, she only manages to find one thing. But it's this, and I'm gonna this is gonna be on the roll twenty now, which is an unpublished newspaper story. Um, can you guys see this? Yeah. yeah. I don't. Can you not see this? I don't see it. It's, it's great. It's on the roll 20. Screen. Look in the big area box thing. Yeah, it's just blank. <clears throat> oh, well, does one, does one of you want to TLDR you it? For... It's one you can read it out. Yeah, just someone tell me what it says. Um, basically. Article title: What haunts the house in Sheaf Street? So we know it's on Sheaf Street. Uh, something sinister has been going on. Uh, it's destroyed three families within the last forty years. Um, in, in 1880. Oh, it's, it's, a, a, oh yeah, it's appeared for me now. Sorry. Thank God, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's been vacant for almost twenty years. In 1909, another family moved in. From the time they moved into the house, Mr. and Mrs. Jones fell prey to illness and sickness, almost as if the house itself were conspiring against them. The children did not fare much better, though all of them lived in the house for several years. Uh, 1914, the guy killed himself with a kitchen knife. They moved out after the heartbreak of the loss. Third family rented the house in 1917, but left after less than a month when all of them became ill at the same time. Uh, that's just them asking. Is it yeah. Okay. So before so you... the guys killed himself, 
people go ill. So Ruth says, yeah. that's, sorry, that's all we've got here, but the uh, the records we keep here don't go back any further than uh, 1878, uh, so if there's anything earlier than that, you're going to have to check out the library. They keep the older records. Mm, we should head to the library. <laughs> well, you us on the way? So, well, you can't meet them on the well, way. We, we have two people there, but they don't know that. They're, they're, the guys at the library will have been doing what they're about to do in parallel to what you've just done, if you understand. Right, okay. So we obviously don't have this information we've just received. Yeah, you don't have that, but you've, um, but you're, 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 but yeah, because we're now jumping back in time an hour or so for what you guys were doing. So, ask you and Carl. Welcome to the library. Yeah. <laughs> so the library is vast, obviously, and it takes a while to search. You can, you can, it takes, you can do a half day. Each search takes half a day, and we, we do one roll for that. And then, if you want to keep searching, you're gonna to have to burn another half a day and do another roll. Um, I would suggest Askew makes the rolls because he's the one better with library. I'll do the roll. I've got the good skills. So not yeah. some sort of librarian to help us. Uh, some... Well, the, it's, I mean, if you've, heard, I mean, the thing is, the librarian can point you in the right direction, but it, but the problem is that's only going to take you to a big bookshelf. The last two places you've been, there's been a record keeper who their their personal collections and can find things for you. Here, you're just going to have to search, and it's going to take half a day at least for each each search you do. Okay. I'll do a big roll. Okay. Is that not good, is it? That's not good, no. Uh, let me just double check your rec your thing. Ask you. Now, can I do a re-roll and face the consequence? You can, you can, tr you can try and push the roll on that. Um, I, I would, I mean, I guess if you push a roll and you don't get it, then that bit of information will be gone forever. So. Also, can can we change our names in the uh, chat just so I remember what everyone's names is? I I did it and Kieran's done it, but just. How do you do that? Because you just click on your name and it just brings up a window and you can change it. Yeah, that way I can start calling you those names instead. Yeah. It won't let me do. Oh no, I'm gonna click off. Oh, no, 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 no. It does. It like it makes you like. Oh, okay. It appears like you're rejoining, but you're not. And then it changes the names on it. Oh, I can't even do yeah. a space. No, no, you can't do a space. Or capital. Can you do a dash actually? Okay. Would go. Okay, cool. Ask you. Do you want to do? A, do you want to do a reroll then? Oh, it's messed it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a reroll. Well, it's not Julia. <laughs> Julian Nelson. <laughs> um, worst case scenario, we'll lose the information. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. But if you, if you, if you, oh, you think, shit. wow. Okay, so that's definitely gone. <laughs> so that's half a day gone so far, and you found nothing. The other guys, of the other guys by this point, have rejoined you. They're like, we found. I mean, well, actually, you can say what you want. You, you, so um, you're all four of you are there now, and it's up for um, for uh, Kinriel and. Am we able to take that? Hmm. Well, did we take that copy of that newspaper? Yeah, you took a copy of it and you brought it with you to 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 these guys, and you're like, okay. you've you've arrived at the library. You've you know you've been half a day, they've been half a day, and you show up. So, right, check that right. show. <laughs> Whoa, that guy killed himself with a knife. <laughs> we need to learn about the illnesses. We need to learn about the illness. Are any what? of the family still think? alive? Do we know? Well, this is you're I don't still know. Clue. Well, that's why you're here in the library, isn't it? I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised now that you guys have said, well, "What have you guys done for this?" While well, we've been busy. <laughs> yeah, I, I just did. Uh, All right. About that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Got a few finger cuts. Yeah, I sat around while he searched for, uh, while Julian searched for books, and we found absolutely nothing. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we should have come Can with I you. How about you? Meet anyone funny? Mm. And met yeah. a nice woman. Met this nice girl later. Yeah. He cracked on. Yeah. Yeah. You know <laughs> the usual charm. You know how it goes. <laughs> right. So now you're all. So what have we got? Here? Now, do you want to spend her. another half day searching the library? You've now got two of you at least that can search. Oh, can we come combine our roles, me and Johnny? Right. Why the fuck not? Well, you can. But we can. Yeah, you might as well know that we actually have. Now you both get a roll, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you right, want to spend another half day searching the library? I think we yes. definitely should. Okay. The names and yeah. The so both um, both Julian and Zav could um, roll, and we'll get some, and we'll see if you guys can find anything. D100. D100s each, yeah. That's more like it. Okay, that, that's one thing. What about Johnny? Oh, brilliant! Ooh, Johnny. Dunk. Okay, so you, you've already spell the beans. <laughs> so you've missed one because of the ask you push. Yeah, to doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
he found something in the book. Uh. Okay, so you found you found <laughs> you found two relevant newspapers newspaper pages. I'm going to bring up one of them first, and we'll see, and um, this is one of them. Only one of the articles is relevant. Oh, but, but the Globe didn't have this. Near yeah, the but they said their records only go back so far at the, at the, at the office. Uh, uh, the all right, okay. Soon. I didn't know that. I wasn't there. I'm a quick reader, right? So, uh, suit brought against him. Right, so a spa- apparently they're trying to sue him because he's a bit weird. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> his in- inauspicious demeanour and his serious habits? Yeah? What habits? Serious. I don't know what they are. Am I reading the right article here? It's only the, the neighbour sue one is the, is the relevant one, yes. Right, okay. This is in 1852 anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, so that um, would have been... And do you want to see, do you want to see the other article habits. that you guys found? Yeah, I'd like yeah. to see. That would have been before the French family, the Le Deux, whatever they're called. Yeah, but Le, it's 50 Le years before, almost. Yeah. Okay, and then this, that's the one in the, one in the top left here is the relevant Call the top, man. Oh, Walter Corbett, Esquire. This time after his death. So he's buried on, uh, that's why he wants to be buried on the grounds in the basement. That's where he wants to be. Oh, I don't want to go in the basement. And basically, they don't want the burial to take place, and they've sued him. Um, so he died in his house, and there was no funeral service. So was he buried? So we don't know if he was buried. Buried. He could have been sued, but you know he's dead. He doesn't care if he's been sued or not. So. He could be in the basement. You've so that's a that's a day gone now. Do you want to do you want to go head over to the neighbourhood tonight, or do you want to start again tomorrow morning? What do you want to do? Oh, I'm not going in the night. There is no <laughs> chance I'm going in there during night. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Can we go to? Can we go to should we go past? Should we go past it on the way home and just have a little look from the outside? Can we go to uh, bespoke tailoring? Because they seem to have some excellent suits. That we can get. <laughs> you can go. You've got money. If you want to go to the tailor shop, for, I mean, it's going to shut shortly, but you can run over there now if you want. Well, if, we, if, we, if we're going to investigate this creepy house, uh, if there is the chance that we might die, at least we can go down in style. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head to bespoke tailoring. <laughs> <laughs> the place, the plate, the guy is the guy is just like like closing up the till and is like, um, oh, good, good, good day, um, good day, gentlemen. What can I do for you? I mean, I mean, tin real, charming. Go on, get us some cheap suits. <laughs> um, I hear that you do some nice suits. Uh, do you want to do you want to give me a, a roll, uh, a D D one hundred roll, um, tin real? Oh, oh, I wonder if it'll be below eighty. <laughs> Ooh. Just. Ah, oh, just. So he's like, yeah, we have some nice suits here. I mean, um, I was going to show us up, but you seem like you seem like a pleasant gentleman. I'll I'll stay open for a bit longer if you want to if you want to buy something. Are you interested? Yeah, let's have a look. I am interested. <laughs> I am interested for myself and the three gentlemen here. Um, I mean, what we, can you suggest for us? We, I mean, uh, I mean, obviously you're looking for something quick since we we haven't got all time to tell you something specific. But I can give you a, I can do you a five dollar suit or a ten dollar suit, and that's. But I mean, those are the those are the cheap options if you're interested in either of those. Uh, you look like a man with taste. I think you should. Uh... Tell us what you suggest of a nice suit that well, would fit ourselves well. Well, a nice suit would be a, at least a twenty dollars suit, but I mean that would take tailoring. I mean I could do that for you, but it would take a couple of days. If you want something tonight, it'll have to be one of our off the off the shelf suits. It's up to you. What's your ratings are? <laughs> do we have time tomorrow? Would they could they would they be done by tomorrow? Sorry, what? We don't, unless they can give us bonus gear and stuff, we, we don't need it. <laughs> it might be <laughs> charm points, who knows? Do we get any bonus stats? Um, I'll tell you what, if you if you get the suits, I'll um I'll I'll, I'll give you some bonus in, in in charm rolls, but I mean that's that's all that's best I can do. <laughs> really? Yeah. How much of a bonus? I, I, I... We'll have one. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's like the, you know, it's, it's. I'm just gonna have to play it by ear. It'll probably just be like a D6 or a D8 or something bonus. That'll be it. Can, can you uh, can you mail these suits to us? 
Mail, I mean, yeah, sure, if you want. I mean, you you want tailored ones, they're still going to take a couple of days. Um, Trent Wood is frozen on my we screen. Don't have the, we might not have the money for this, you know. <laughs> oh, Trent Wood under... Who's Trent Wood one in the room? I'll have to boot on the other Trent Wood, because that was so funny. Yeah, boot, 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 normal. Uh, why are you guys laughing? Because <laughs> of the way you laugh. <laughs> is it still there? I can't see it. Yeah, yeah it is. I can't put it like that. Oh, we've got, I've got rid of him. Oh, we've got little tears in there. Okay, so, um... I'm crying. So what's happening? Anyway. Who's, who's buying suits? Who's buying suits? Well, did we find Wait, out uh, how many points he gets? I, I, you know, it'll just be like an extra annoying. dice or something. What about Cheryl? She'll need a suit. Oh wow, you're really that well, generous an employer. I mean, a five dollar suit, that's like what she what she gets paid in like, a you know, maybe a month or something. Just take out our paycheck. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna buy her a suit. You're gonna buy, you're gonna buy Cheryl a suit. Do you have Cheryl's measurements? <laughs> yeah, dude, I've got a really good charm. I've had her before. <laughs> Okay, so you want to... He's got, he's got a visual representation in his mind. So you, so you want a suit for uh, for one of your employees? I can, I can do that. You got the, if you give me the measurements, I can have it delivered to your office. But I mean, if what, you, what, what kind of suit? How about do you want? we send her over tomorrow to get measured? Um, just give Cheryl like a cheap suit. So have you want... we got any scraps? Right? Oh, the, the five, the five dollar <laughs> suit's the lowest we go. I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, give the best. Uh, we'll, we'll take your best suit for uh, Kinrail. So you want to you want a the twenty best. you want a twenty dollar suit for you <laughs> and a five dollar suit for your employee. What what is the best suit you have in the store that will fit me right now? Well, that's going to be one Ten of the, that's going to be one of the ten dollar ones from the racks. Yeah, do it, do it. Yeah, let's do that. What about what do you want the what other one? We'll get a ten for me, and we'll get we'll, we'll get a five for Shadow. Okay, okay, okay. Right, I'll, I'll deliver. We'll, the, we'll send the we'll send the five one five dollar one over to Cheryl, and we will the, you will get your new suit now. Um, so that's going to take you. I'm, I'm taking this out of your money now, um, Kinriel. Oh. <gasps> uh, Twenty five dollars and nice. <laughs> we spent an awful lot of time sorting these suits out. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. The, you, you you've got your new, you've got your new suit. You're feeling pretty suave now. Actually, if anything, the rest of them look a bit scrubbish around you. Um, That's because I'm the boss, man. It's and the and yeah, you need to know who's the boss. And you go back you go back to the office and you just spend the. I mean, you know, you don't really want it, you, you haven't really got time for anything else now. Everything's shutting up for the night. And if you're not going to go to the house, you spend the evening, I guess, drinking more and smoking more and uh, just um, living it up, basically. As um, sleep in. You sleep in. Sleep in. No, and sleeping. I'm oh, sleeping. You're not going to sleep in. Okay.